On the 27th of October, thanks to invitations departmented, we organized the dinner with Hiba from Syria. As we talked about, this application aims at bringing people together and sharing stories about the refugees' experiences. Iba is now working in the communication office of Sodoton York Schola and engaging in helping the refugees as well. The first things that happen is that, that, that when, the, when she was in the seaside that she can swim and the, and the, and the, and the, and the boat and the engine of the boat get broken. And then this, the sound of the, the woman was shouting, uh, and she, you, you think about that, you, you can hear them, you still mm-hmm. hear them, yeah. Ja, uh, han kunde laga motorer, mm. fantastiskt. Men uh, vi måste åka uh, långsamt för att uh, uh, klara det. Klar. It was a miracle because we had uh, a refugee that could manage to repair the engine so we can continue with the trip very slowly, but we can continue. The trip should take well, half an hour, but they was on, on the seaside like four or five hours. Oh. They have to uh, they have to take the direction of it. You know, Eva had to feed it. Are you talking about the... Yeah, the light station. Yeah, the lighthouse? lighthouse. The lighthouse. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. Light, you have the that, that far on the coast. Mm-hmm. On the coast, you have this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they had, they had to look mm-hmm. at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they the had no lights on the boat. boat. You have no lights on the boat. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's a small boat. Yeah, it's nearby. The yeah. small, small boats. Mm-hmm. Hiba came to Sweden last October. She explained to us how hard it was for her to get through different countries by car, train, boat, or even work to manage to come to Sweden. Also, while showing us the route in the map, she couldn't exactly remember where she passed through because she just tried to find her way to Sweden by using GPS of her phone. During the refugee crisis, many people lost their phones on their way to escape. Heba arrived in Stockholm by train, and uh, then they took her to a camp in the suburbs of Stockholm. Uh, she was so tired after the long trip. Uh, the day after, she waked up and uh, wanted to go out for a walk with a friend and around her she, it was only woods she couldn't see any people so at that time it was a little bit difficult it was not so easy to get into the swedish society Eba Ackerman is a Swedish teacher for the immigrants in Sweden. It became clear to her that, the, that most of her students lived in immigrants' neighborhoods and have virtually no contact with native Swedish. This motivated Eba to create United Invitation, a Swedish platform that promotes inclusion of immigrants in Sweden. Invitationsdepartementet in Sweden is the phenomenon has spread to several countries. United Nation is the English name, is the umbrella name for the global movement. 
It's about bringing change in people in society by connecting immigrants and natives at dinner tables. So this started about two and a half years ago when I was working as a substitute teacher in the Swedish for Immigrants language program, which is a sort of free of charge or state funded language program that's available to anyone who moves to Sweden. I felt that the political discussion on immigration, whether your opinions were left or right, didn't really mirror the reality of my students. I felt there was a voice missing in this debate, and that was the person who actually had moved to Sweden from a new country. Uh, this, in combination with as Ebba, uh, as the substitute teacher, I was invited to a lot of my students' houses for dinners, birthday parties, mm -hmm. cultural gatherings. And the way I was included in their, their society is really how I wish more people were included in the Swedish society. This then, in combination with I realized that I was actually in a position where I could do something because now I knew a lot of SFI students and I also had a lot of Stockholm friends. So I asked my students who would like to have dinner with one of my friends and I asked my friends who would like to have dinner with one of my students. People signed up and I took a picture of it and posted it on Facebook and Instagram and then asked my Swedish friends, I have a bunch of students who are really nice who would like to have dinner with them. And then people started to say, like, oh, this is a great idea, I want to do it. And then a few of them who did it talked about it on their social channels. And that's really the seed that then sort of snowballed into where we are today, where almost 10,000 people have met across the dinner tables. and. It it's now started by people around Stockholm and Europe who sort of run their own departments in their community. For a for a few years, she was unsure of who in her family was even still alive. A year ago, Jawahar sold some of her food to buy a smartphone. The smartphone is the only object which is really useful and enables them to keep contact with their families. But at the same time, their communication of the world is limited to phone. However, as a human being, they need to connect to the people around. Then, how can we solve this problem by taking advantage of technology? These days in Sweden, there are a lot of companies and organizations trying to connect refugees with Swedish people by utilizing the social platform. For example, there are some applications which allow refugees to connect with people by organizing dinners and meetings at local people's homes. In other words, it helps them to create real connections with people around. During the dinner, a woman who came from Quebec appreciated the event and expressed her feeling by saying that she was surprised to see such a friendly atmosphere and how much we could learn by sharing each other lives. Finally, it brings so much hope and happiness to all of us and all these exchanges created kind of human warmth, which means all hearts are linked by this idea of being together and just cooking at the same place as we knew each other for so many times. It was very strong for us to meet these people in real life, in a very uh, normal situation for everyday life. And we want to know more about them, more about the different stories of all the people around us.